All right, I think we're going to get started this morning. Woo! Here we go. All right, I would like to welcome everyone to today's spring signing ceremony. This is a special day for these 18 young men and women. It is something that each of you have dreamed probably about since a little, being a little kid. Congratulations to parents, family members, and special guests of, of our signees today. I hope you enjoy this day and this special accomplishment. We're going to kick it off and start with Coach King to talk about our girls lacrosse signing. Good morning. All right. On behalf of the entire Raven Gap community, Coach Nice, Coach A, and myself, I want to extend a congratulations to Say Sadri on a really momentous occasion. Today marks the beginning of a new chapter of her life, one that is filled with endless possibilities and opportunities. Say Sadri has worked incredibly hard from the very beginning of our program. She's an OG, um, and we are very proud of all the work that she's done on the field and in the classroom. <clears throat> her dedication and commitment um, to her academics and lacrosse has paid off in a big way. Say Sadri has always been a true leader and an inspiration to her teammates. No one loves lacrosse as much as Say Sadri does. A love that sparked through her grandfather, who was the biggest fan of RG Girls Lacrosse. While no longer here, Say Sadri still makes him very proud every day by being a strong leader who can learn from her mistakes and grow from her successes. Additionally, Say Sadri understands the importance of her character on and off the field. It is unquestionable that Say Sadri has exemplified what it means to be a part of our program and the Raven Gap community. We are so proud of her and know that she's going on to accomplish big things and thrive at Georgetown College. Say Sadri, as you embark on this New Jersey, a new journey, not New Jersey, in Kentucky, uh, know that we are all behind you, supporting you every step of the way. We cannot wait to see all the amazing things you accomplish in the years to come, both on the field and off. Once again, congratulations to Say Sadri on an incredible achievement. You're an outstanding athlete, teammate, and person. We are lucky to have had you a part of the Raven Gap family, and we wish you all the best as you begin this new chapter. All right, Coach Hager will talk about our girls' golf signing. Raven Gap has had the privilege of having Jay Blakely represent us for four years now. Due in part to her level of competitiveness and skill, the team has won 29 of the 34 matches she has played in, with her score being the lowest in at least 14 of those matches. Through her time, she has grown in many ways. As a golfer, though she started out fantastic, she has been able to shave an average of three strokes off, or three strokes off her average since freshman year. As a student, she has consistently excelled in all of her classes and went on to taking challenging classes. As a human, she has developed an empathy and leadership and has grown in confidence, taking to the stage multiple times this year to show us more of who she is off the course. Throughout her time, she has attended the state tournament each year and she has earned numerous team awards. She has done so well that overall she gets to continue learning and playing this wonderful game at the University of Southern Indiana. Though I am only one, I know I can speak for all of your mentors and your coaches that you had along the way and say that we couldn't be more proud of you. I'm excited to see what else you are able to accomplish this year and the next chapter of your life. I can only hope you remember to invite us all when you go to a major on the LGPGA. Congratulations. Coach Metters will now present our cross country signee. Good morning. I am so excited to talk about Haven today. Um, to know Haven is to love her. I don't think she has a main bone in her body. She's been a model student athlete since the moment that she stepped onto our campus as a freshman. Um, she works just as hard in the classroom as she does on the track. When I think of Haven, I think of the words cool, calm, and collected. She makes doing hard things look effortless, and running is no exception. Haven has been the rock on our distance program for the last four years. She is the consistent member that has stuck with me as others have come and gone, and she's always trusted in our training, truly setting the standard for what distance running can be at Raven Gap. 
This track season has been one of my favorites, watching Haven believe in herself and exhibit confidence in her racing that I've never seen from her before. I think she is finally realizing her potential and I know the best is yet to come for her. She's really leaving her mark this year, running her best times ever. She is one of the current record holders in the 4x8 relay, and she also holds the number two all-time mark in the 800, the number four in the mile, the number three in the two mile, and number five in 5K cross country, which she set all this year. When I asked some of Haven's teammates how they would describe her, these are some of the words that they used. Kind, a calming presence, easygoing but strong, graceful, selfless, dedicated, humble, supportive, resilient. They said Haven is dedicated towards not only running, but also her teammates. She is truly the foundation of the distance team. Haven always puts the team before herself. She always runs her hardest, even when she isn't feeling the best. Haven, I think I speak for everyone on our team when I say we are really going to miss you. I honestly can't imagine this team without you on it. I hope that you can take many things from your running and apply it to your life when you leave Raven Gap, particularly self-confidence and the belief in yourself because you really can do anything that you put your mind to. Georgia College is really lucky to have you and I hope you know that we will always be cheering for you and running in life. Congratulations, David. to thank all my friends and family who's been there supporting me and my teammates who've made the sport so much fun and all my coaches who push me every day and especially Ms. Meadows who's so encouraging and I couldn't ask for a better coach than her and most, of my, most importantly thank you to God for giving me the ability to run and the opportunity to continue my journey. Thank you. Coach Garrison will now present our swimming signing. Good morning. Um, I'm so happy to be standing here today to celebrate uh, my senior swimmer, Maya Picard. I've had the pleasure of coaching Maya for the past two years, and she's a year-round swimmer, which means that I have her all three athletic trimesters. So needless to say, we've spent a lot of time on deck together in which I've really been able to get to know her and really enjoyed um, coaching her and spending time with her and watching her interact with the team. Um, I was first introduced to Maya during the middle school season where she was in the role of team manager. She did a great job of being present and hands-on during the season, connecting with the middle school swimmers and being a positive role model. She would swim with them every day, push them to beat their personal best times, demonstrate different skills and techniques in the water for me, which was fantastic and much appreciated by the team. Next, I got to know Maya as a varsity athlete. She's a strong, talented swimmer. She's proficient in all four competitive strokes. She's especially fast in the 100-yard breaststroke and the 100-yard butterfly. And she also excels in the 500-yard freestyle, which is our long distance event. This year, she was voted in as team captain by her teammates. She always is willing to stay, work one-on-one -on -one with some of our newer swimmers to help them develop and better their skills. Um, the team just really appreciated all the work that she did for them, and so do I. Um, today, Maya is signing with Ottawa University in Arizona. Um, she's gonna be joining the women's swim team. She's gonna be focusing her studies on biochemistry and pursuing a career as a scientist. She's most excited about the outdoor university pool facility, which is amazing, and the surrounding um, scenery as well as the warm climate. So I'm really, really proud of you, Maya. Um, I'm so glad that I've had the opportunity to work with you these last few years, and you are really gonna be missed. Um, so, big round of applause for Maya. Jade wanted to say a few remarks, and we missed that, so I'm going to let Jade speak. Get it! <laughs> um, so I'd first like to thank my family. There's not enough words to describe how grateful I am for the team that we built together and just for supporting me along my entire journey. I'd like to thank some of my coaches and just mentors who have been there for me, supporting me, pushing me 
the entire journey. Um, my coach, Ken Mattis, Ms. Aker, and Mr. Noah, who I don't know if he's here. And I'd just like to thank the community of Raven Gap as a whole, the faculty members, my friends, and just everyone here. You've made my time here so memorable, so thank you. All right, Coach Lindsley to talk about our boys lacrosse signings. Morning. Uh, I'm here to talk about two young men who are marking their commitment to play collegiately um, next year in Jack Moores and in Kale Woody. Uh, four years ago, I came to Raven Gap and was tasked with building something out of nothing, which is a really exciting um, opportunity and presenting some unique challenges in a place where um, there was none of this. And when I stepped on campus, one of the first people I thought of um, who I would love to build our program around was Kale. Uh, I've known Kale since he was 12 years old. Uh, I've coached him in, in club lacrosse. I've gotten to know him and his family and his character. Um, and I am proud to have built uh, our young program around the example that Kale sets for us. He's gonna head on to Hartford Community College, which is the currently number one ranked community college program in the country, defending national champions, and, and just took down the number three team in the country last year, or last week. Um, really excited about the opportunity that Kale is gonna have there to grow in his game uh, and to lead their program the same way that he has led ours as he pursues his dreams of um, playing this game at the highest possible level that he can. Because without him, I would not be where I am today. I would also like to thank my family, coaches, teachers, teammates, friends, and everyone who has been a part of my life for these past three years because it has been truly a blessing. Take a few more minutes of your time and talk about Jack. Um, Jack is a, a unique case and one um, that shows us what relationships will do in our lives. Um, Jack's family rolled into campus in, uh, in the first week of December in 2021 uh, because of a relationship that one of his coaches had with Coach Miles actually and, and what he had done in the past. And um, they spent the entire day on campus. I feel like I didn't teach much of a class that day. Um, he, we practiced a little bit together. We ate lunch together. Um, we toured around campus together, and then two weeks later in January, he was here with us um, and has been so instrumental in the development of our program, uh, teaching our younger guys some of the little tips and tricks of the trade and really what it means to be a lacrosse player and what the, the culture of the game is. And um, He's also obviously a foundational part of how we play and, and the style in which we play. And, um, is a marker of what Raven Gap can mean to the world because he took a flyer on a brand new thing. Uh, no proven varsity track record, no college placement, no nothing. He was here for a day and I think felt the community that you guys have built for us and I um, am really grateful that you took that chance on this Jack. It means a ton. Um, I'm glad that Jack has been a part of our community for the last couple of years and am really proud of what he's done for our, our team and for our school and am exceptionally excited for what he's going to do at the University of Indianapolis next year and moving forward. Jack Morris. to allow me to do what I'm doing today. Um, I'd also just like to thank the rest of my friends and family with the endless love and support just throughout the years. And I'd like to thank the coaching staff at Raven Gap for, uh, you know, helping my skills on the field, but also helping me with my life skills. Thank you. Yeah. 
I'd like to first start off by congratulating all the signees that are on stage. Um, the minutes, the hours, the days, the weeks, the amount of time, effort, energy it goes into uh, being able to play at the next level uh, is huge. I'd like to quote Anson Dorrance whenever he was getting me a hand ready for the, the World Cup. He wrote in his book, the vision of a champion is someone who's been over, drenched in sweat, and at some point exhaustion when nobody else is watching. So everybody up here has had to lay that sacrifice down to be able to go on to the next level and to be a champion. Uh, there's a lot of layers to it individually watching film, weights, improving your spirit, positive attitude, a mental approach, becoming bigger, faster, stronger, more technical, smarter decision making, being tactically great, and this is who they are. The four guys, my dudes, uh, <laughs> were integral in winning the state championship this year. And if you, if you were at that game, or if you were watching it online, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the first signee is Marcelo. He's going back uh, to his country to play at Monterey Tech, uh, which is a huge feat. It is not easy, and I've been there, and it's, a, it's an amazing setup and situation. Captain Gonzalez is every player's best teammate. All who come into contact, love him. His strongest attributes are quick feet, combining ability, dribbling, precise shooting, and unbelievable versatility. Top moments this year, game time goal against Providence Day in the last second of the match to beat him. His hat trick in the first game of the season against Pisca. Um, and this dude takes pleasure in assists. He had 22 assists this season for Raven Gap soccer team. So that speaks volumes about his ability to be able to promote his teammates and be a team player. Marcelo. Team for being together in the ups and downs, uh, enjoying the journey as a family and pushing me to be better. Uh, to Memo, my best friend, Agus, JP, Mike, Hector, Gabo, and all of my friends for being there always. Uh, Coach Bart, Osu, all my teachers and faculty members for your guidance, dedication, and believing in me. Uh, all the Raving Up community, you have a special place in my heart. Um, with this being said, I would like to announce my commitment to Tech de Monterrey. No. Next up is Mateos. He's committed to play at the University of South Carolina, Aiken. Um, one thing I'll say about Mateos is, is uh, less said, more action for results. And if you know him and you see him play, you know, right? He drifts in and out of matches and makes more impact than you realize. Um, he's smooth as glass on the field. His composure, long-range shot makes him, uh, makes everything look easy. Uh, he's a true tactician of the game a fan and fantastic at free kicks and his work ethic is unmatched. Top moments this year for Mati would be um, multiple game-winning free kicks, balling out in the state championship game, big-time free kick ESPN worthy against Carolina Day on the road, monster goal against Christ School to tie it up to get us rolling. I'm so proud of him and I know he's going to do fantastic things at the next level. Mateos. Yeah! Next up, uh, Winnie. Ooh. Winnie is committed to play at Francis Marion University. Captain Winnie is a flyer. Truly one of the best, one of the fastest players I've ever coached but his ability to score goals under pressure are unmatched. 
He gets kicked, he gets clipped, he gets fouled, but he just keeps coming with that big heart and that big smile. Chop it up players on the run, that's just what he does. And I think if you ever watched him play, his work ethic is unbelievable on the field. Some of his top moments this year, um, goals against Christ School uh, late at home, two goals in a quarterfinal match against a really good Charlotte Christian. Also had a hat trick against Charlotte Latin, and he's gonna be looking to play and make an immediate impact at Francis Marion. So, congratulations. All right, this is the last, my dudes, Augustine Canales. Augustine is committed to play at Francis Marion University. Augustine was the first kid who came uh, to Raven Gap with me. I came like nine months ago, and uh, I found him when I was down in Mexico at a showcase. Um, three weeks later, we got him to Raven Gap. It was amazing, actually. So kudos to Raven Gap and his family for making that happen. Um, this, this kid's a pro. Um, his shot blocking ability, his distribution, uh, his anticipation, making um, sought after by any team, any program, anywhere. Um, Augustine found a way to come up with three big saves in the state championship match when we were down 3-1. And I don't know if you know a lot about PKs in soccer, but when you're down 3-1, pretty much gonna stick a fork in it. This dude anticipated where those kicks were going, found a way to win it, and then sealed the deal. He scored the game-winning PK to win our state championship this year. Augustine. Hi, everyone. Uh, first, I want to start thinking, uh, congratulating all the athletes that are here with me today on stage especially my teammates, Chelo, Mateus, and Winnie. I want to start by thanking my family, my mom, my dad, my brother, and everyone that made this possible for me and supported me to allow me to follow my dreams, like coming to study and play to the United States. I love you guys. I want to thank God for putting me in this position and blessing me with this experience and all the people I met that I can call friends today. I want to follow by thanking Raymond Gap and especially Coach Park for giving me the opportunity and supported me throughout my, my time here as I prepared to embark on this college journey. Finally, I want to thank my teammates and especially my friends that have helped me to adapt uh, to this new school, country, and culture, and for always being there for me when I didn't know anyone. Thank you for holding me, holding me accountable and pushing me to be a better player and a better man. And a better man. With that said, go Patriots. <laughs> Coach White will talk about our eight football signings. Good morning. Um, congratulations to all our signees up here. This is a uh, large group. Um, it didn't go unnoticed. Congratulations. Uh, we're going to start. I'm going to be quick with a lot of these guys. I talk about them a lot. Uh, we'll start. Uh, Gideon Herbert. Uh, Gideon came uh, four years ago. Gideon, three? Four years ago. Four years ago from a country, uh, to Germany, a uh, long way from home, um, excelled and uh, has an opportunity to uh, play college football. Uh, it's going to be a great story. He, uh, it, it's going to be one that's going to be remembered, and uh, we're proud of you, Gideon. Congratulations. today and um, and I want to close off by saying like believe in yourself bro. Uh, never stop believing in yourself because they didn't believe in us. God did. <laughs> uh, next up uh, young man Ezra Burgess. 
Uh, Ezra came to Raven Gap three years ago and uh, has had a great career. The, the thing that I remember about Ezra the most, uh, Ezra grew in my time here going through the spring, I mean, going into summer camp this year, uh, our numbers were low in some positions. And uh, we had an offensive lineman go down. Uh, we had a, we had some things start happening where we, we were str struggling. We knew the schedule we were gonna play. And uh, Ezra came to my office and uh, said, Coach, uh, I'll, I'll play defensive end. Hasn't played defensive end this whole time. Didn't get recruited as a defensive end, as a tight end. And uh, all he did, never complained, went and played defensive end made all state, made all conference, and was a impact contributor, and that let us have the year that we had this year. So thank you, Ezra, uh, and congratulations. Uh, first and foremost, I wanna give all glory and praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without his grace, um, and guidance, I wouldn't be standing here today. Secondly, I would want to thank my entire family, especially my mom and my dad, for always um, supporting me mentally, physically, and financially, of course. <laughs> also, thank you to my girlfriend Taylor and her family, Donna and Jackson, for supporting me from day one and always being there, giving love, support, and encouragement. Um, it, it doesn't go unnoticed. <laughs> um, Lastly, I would like to thank Coach White and the entire Raven Gap coaching staff for getting me where I am today and blessing me with the opportunity to continue my academic and collegiate and academic and athletic career at the collegiate level. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have Graham. Graham came last December um, of 2022. And uh, he's been here for a semester and a half and uh, is an excellent student. Uh, jumped right into Raven Gap, believed in us, did an amazing job. Um, I'm expecting you, Graham, to take care of uh, the two guys beside you. Um, I think all three of you are left-handed. Getting you left-handed? Okay, two of you, all right. So make sure you take care of them and they're on the right place at the right time. But uh, Graham is a amazing young man that will have a great career. Uh, on and off the field, and uh, we're excited about your future, Graham. Congratulations. Hi. Uh, thank you all for being here. You know, first off, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without him, I would not be in the position that I am in today. Uh, next, I would like to thank Coach White for bringing me to Raven Gap and giving me the opportunity to continue to play the game I love. I would like to thank my parents for always supporting me and pushing me to be the best version of myself. Thank you, my sister, Penelope, for being someone I can lean on. You know, I'd like to thank uh, my friends and teammates for being there for me in times of need and all the fun times we have shared together. I truly am blessed and grateful to have such amazing people in my life, and I wouldn't be able to thrive without the amazing support I have received. With that being said, Wolves up. Uh, next up, we have uh, Jordan Weeks. Jordan's from Canada. Uh, he came down, I remember when uh, he was looking at our school in the process, and uh, Jordan has done an outstanding job of getting better and better, and uh, he is going to Campbell University. So uh, congratulations, Jordan. Next 
up of Hussein. Uh, Hussein uh, done a lot, he did a lot for us this year. Uh, when he came to Raven Gap, he was a quarterback. Uh, we talked about it to make a transition for him to have an opportunity to play college football to change positions. Uh, when he came to Raven Gap, he changed positions and uh, also was our punter for us, uh, was our holder for us, and uh, uh, he got better and better. And uh, we talked about this time and uh, excited for uh, Hussein. He's going to Murray State to be a racer. The motivation has pushed me to be my best, and your belief in me has inspired me to strive to be a better person and role model for you. To all my coaches from the UK to Raven Gap, your guidance and mentorship have been invaluable in molding me into the man I am today. And to the McNabb family, your hospitality and friendship have made a significant impact on my life. To Coach Kenny and Coach Dice, thank you for the late night talks we would have about life. I'm truly blessed to have each and every one of you in my corner. Thank you. Go Racers. Next up, a young man from Canada, Tyrell Campbell. Uh, Tyrell came to Raven Gap and um, had a great junior year. Unfortunately, he broke his wrist and um, missed a lot of time. Wish we could have had him. Would have been a great addition for us to have that playoff run. Uh, Tyrell, um, I'll never forget this June, he came to me and uh, he said, what do I got to do to get a Division I? And uh, we said, you need to get bigger, faster, stronger. And uh, Tyrell did an amazing job that summer. Uh, ate at about 15 pounds, uh, got faster, and had an amazing all-state year at running back, and is going with Hussein to Murray State. and all the coaches here for giving me the opportunity to play uh, football in America and being able to further my career and give me the chance to go on the places I want to. So I want to also thank my friends and all the faculty here for making this experience something uh, to remember. And with that, you guys, I'll be able to go on my journey that I'm going to. So thank you. Kayla McKenzie. Uh, Kayla McKenzie uh, came to us this year. Um, he is also the only male at Raven Gap that competed in letter in three varsity sports this year. Congratulations, Kayla. <laughs> Kayla uh, Caleb's going to have a bright future. Caleb uh, moved over from the defensive line to the offensive line, got better and better. Uh, he's an amazing young man. Uh, his best is yet to come for him. He is going to Wingate University. Congratulations, Caleb. <laughs> Special Coach Alexander, he taught me the difference between even and all front. I'm really going to miss those pancakes on Saturday. <laughs> I'd like to thank Coach White for bringing me out here. It wouldn't be possible without him. And I'd also like to thank my parents because none of this would be possible without them. So thank you guys very much. I'm excited to go to Wingate next year. <laughs> I'm excited for all you guys, and you know what we talk about in our football program. It's not just the, the high school journey, the college journey, it's the 35, the 40 year old version of yourself that's gonna matter. So use this opportunity to use football, to change your family tree, to make a better life for yourself, for your family. That's what it's about, okay? Um, the next young man, uh, I'll never forget, was the first guy that I ever talked to internationally uh, when I got the job. Uh, was the first guy that committed to come play here internationally. Uh, Nico Reitz. Uh, Nico has a great story. Um, it goes from his first his first time here in the back lot. He'll tell you uh, he was ready to, to go back to Germany. Uh, 
he uh, it was rough. He'll tell you. Um, make sure you uh, flush toilets and clean toilet seats, people, or you'll you'll know what that means. Um, he got hurt. Uh, came back. Lost a fifth grader. Uh, Seventy something pounds and. Um, Started every football game for us this year at left guard. And uh, man, let me tell you something. He was a vital member of our football team. That if you go look at the process two years ago, that you you wouldn't think would be going against the guys that he went against and has an opportunity to play college football. And he worked his tail off. And Nico, thank you. And we look forward to seeing you play at Dixon. Reception. All other students need to return to class. Um, at this time, we're dismissed. 